Good morning, everybody. Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church, and this is the Broadman Word for September 18th, 2024. I hope you're having a marvelous day in the Lord so far. Uh, I want to tell you how incredibly special God thinks you are, how much he loves and cares for you, and gives us ways to get through this world and to walk our path, and he's right there with us uh, all, the way, all the way, every step. And so today, uh, we're going to be talking about um, accessories. What accessories did God give you in order to make, make it through uh, what is a very challenging world? It's from Ephesians 6.11, and uh, you may have heard this before, but it's put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand. And so what does that mean? What's this armor? Well, God gives us a lot of things. Uh, we get spiritual gifts individually, um, but we also have uh, other things. We have faith and trust and truth and um, a number of things that uh, God provides for us in order for us to be able to make it through the challenges of the individual walk. We are part of the worldwide church of Jesus Christ, all Christians everywhere. You know, there's like 8 billion of us, excuse me, uh, around 4 billion of us, I think. So there's quite a few folks that believe in Christ, and that is um, to be cared for by God. And so each of us as a whole have the promises of God. We also each individually have things that we can use to go out on the battlefield, so to speak, and fight the enemy. Because there is only those who believe in God, and then there are the enemies of God. Sounds a little stark, but that's really what scripture boils it down to. And so an enemy requires soldiers to uh, an army to fight against. It requires a battlefield that would be worldliness, and the soldiers would, would be us, and the army would be the army of God. And no army takes the field without some sort of, an, some sort of armor. So um, we need to stand against the devil's schemes, and that requires tools. And so the first thing we have is the wisdom of Scripture. Scripture is true. It is inerrant. It's the same as it was the day uh, it was written. Of course, it was written over about 1,500 years. So it is as true now as it ever was. Um, and so despite those trying to poke holes in it and say that there's all these errors, it's really just nonsense. There's not. And so um, we have uh, a non-biased, because it's not from any man. Men held the quills in their hand, but they did not have the thoughts. The scripture was inspired by God. So we have no ideologies um, from man. We have the Creator God directing their pens, their quills, and revealing His will to us, revealing the truth of the gospel to us through the Bible. And so we have something incredibly solid, not incredibly, totally solid for us to stand on. And then we also have um, Jesus Christ um, without His help. Uh, there's no way that we could live out his truth, the truth. Uh, we would eventually give in to the lies of the world. So the good news of the gospel then and Jesus Christ are intertwined. They are not separable. You remember John told us in the beginning was the word and the word became flesh. Well, that flesh was Jesus Christ. The word is the truth of God. And so Jesus is God's representation of his truth and his will and how we are supposed to live our lives. And so um, in verse 14, it talks about we would give into lies. Um, without the gospel, we would have no peace. So the gospel is part of our armor. Without faith shielding us, we would eventually succumb um, to doubt. And our salvation in the Holy Spirit is what anchor us um, to God and to live well for God. So these are the things that are our armor. Scripture gets a little bit more 
um, detailed and talks about the, the breastplate of truth and um, things like that, um, belts, swords, things. The point for us though now in this particular conversation is for us to understand that we have these tools. The Holy Spirit is our guide. Without the Holy Spirit, it would be difficult for us to discern truth and lies. It would be hard for us to have a, a compass, a true north, so to speak, uh, because there's so much information in the world, uh, we would fall prey to it um, and it's lies because there is only truth and lies. doesn't matter what all the talking heads on TV say, there's something's either true or it's not. Um, if it's true, good. If it's not, then it's a lie and it's trying to deceive you into thinking something that's not true. So without that clarity, without there being, you know, you're either um, with God or you're an enemy of God, something's either true or it's not true, something's either um, of the gospel or it's not, without these very clear delineations, without this rock for us to stand on called the gospel, there would be a lot of variability and there would be a lot of ideas that we would listen to and some would sound good and we could be easily deceived, let off our path, and we could then end up um, being separated from God. So um, what I want to let you know then and kind of wrapping this up today is that we are not intended to do this alone. You were given a Holy Spirit as a guide. You were given tools, armor to go out on the battlefield with. And we should daily collect up our armor, put it on proudly, and go out and be the army of God that we're supposed to be. And we should then stick to the truth that we are founded on and remain laser focused on our mission and live as if we are trying to live out God's will for us. Listen, I love you. I hope you have a marvelous day. I'll talk to you later.